you think, Corvo? Caldwin's Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Gunwald Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole gun wall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. Nobody allowed to be just wandering about. Yeah, I know. If we do say something, then what? We say something? Remind them of our curfew? No. You don't remind them. You chase them <clears throat> down. And you give them a severely deadly beating, is what? Okay, yeah, I got it. Severely deadly. <laughs> and visitors to our city.
with the plague and this blasted curfew, how is anyone supposed to make a living? Well now, Mr. Pratchett, even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right, and the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Are you saying the Lord Regent is wrong for imposing curfew? It won't do you any good to bait me, officer. But don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll profit. A smart man can come out ahead, even in the time of plague. Sure, like that Sokolov. He's doing fine. Always a lot of exotic items coming and going from his place. Keeps this place running, at least for now. Yes, yes, if by exotic you mean foul-smelling as a witch's bottom. The royal physician will be fine too, until he crosses the wrong man. Rivers change course over many lifetimes, and eventually all bridges tumble down. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into runes and inscribed them with my mark. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like you are. 
He wasn't chosen, and he doesn't wear my mark, so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he could start by being a bit more interesting. Charger, then left for the legal district. Okay, good. We can't lose any more men to the Ark Pylon. Touch the Charger before your shift when the duty officer brings it by, and the Ark Pylon won't fry you. Those things? You give me the willies, sir. You'll be thankful when Slackjaw's boys come down the street to slit your ricker. It'll be fun to watch them turn to ash. There was a time when we didn't need these things to keep a gang of kids down. I think since the plague hit, none of them expects to live past 20. So why be scared of anything? We saw the Ark Pylons. They're still there. Great. Yes, the Pylons are still there. In case we want to go and get ourselves killed. Look, are we gonna bust Alec out or not? Eventually, sure. He's the only one who could tell us about the pearls. We'll let him rot in a cell a while longer. He'll be more careful next time. Breaking curfew. Let's show them who owns a bridge. This was too easy.
what for? The lights are working perfect. Well, there's nothing to do. And I like climbing the hills. Just leave the oil and make the oil. Why they always got to put me with you? Someone's still alive. 